I really want to see more of that Sonic, though. That, that looked amazing. <laughs> I just don't want to see it up close and personal. I kind of <laughs> want to stay away from that. All so right, so we're going to have the second match. Earthquake and Zay. Uh, Zay is going to be a Link, uh, Link player. Earthquake is going to be using Luigi. Uh, Zay likes to do a little button check before his matches. Just make sure everything is uh, fine and dandy. Oh, yeah. I think we're so gonna get started. Seems soon. like, yeah, exactly. Seems like that's it. Button checks on Luigi's Mansion, though. Little Gotta like that music. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so let's see what stage they decide to go on. Of course, Prob they might have already done the band phase. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like Zay's gonna want to go uh, battlefield somewhere with platforms or somewhere very flat like final. Exactly. Those are stages Link likes to play on. Of course. Depending also on the custom move you use, if you use any. Whirlwind Boomerang also, very good move. Yeah. A lot of people opting for the, you know, kind of like melee-esque Boomerang yes. in custom environments. But I've also been seeing a lot of people just using the Whirlwind Boomerang to great effect. So I think he uses the custom Boomerang. Uh, I played him earlier in our pool. Um, and I, got hit. I remember getting hit with that uh, quite a lot. So okay. <laughs> I think that's what he'll be using. So let's see what stage they decided to go on. Seems like Smashville, actually. Smashville is a favorite uh, favorite starter for a lot of folks. That's the stage we almost saw for like 50% or more of the tournament right now. So I'm see excited. I guess I guess I'm just excited for when it turns into Night Smashville, so we get kind of a different stage because it seems like we're on oh yeah on this stage a lot. Uh, anything to switch it up, I'm okay with. And a B coming up though. Very interesting option there from say. Of course, Link having a little bit of a nerf in the jabs, IASA frames, yeah, as, you know, in the last patch. Poor guy. Poor Can't guy indeed. I thought he finally caught a break in Smash 4, and, and I don't know if they planned that that way to make Link fans everywhere cry, but it was a... Uh, Ooh. Okay. Wow, Girthquake is put on a 100% almost rather quickly. Girthquake uh, usually goes by Dragonite. I think he's an Austin Smasher just by, by the shirt. Uh, I don't know why he chose Girthquake, but I'd definitely give it an 8 out of 10 in terms of tag, <laughs> tag name. It was actually... Oh, okay. So, fortunate there. For say, let's see if, what he can do to come back. But on the terms of Girthquake, that was actually something that happened at DBA 4. Oh, really? So, the name over there, you know, what knows what happened. Okay. So, hopefully we'll get an explanation later I on. Hope, I hope I get a story out of that. There's, I mean, it's Girthquake, so there has to be something uh, good behind it. All right, so here, lots of rolls coming out for these two. Yeah. Catching Girthquick that there with that forward smash. Very strong move. Okay. That smash attack definitely would have, or that dash attack would have killed. I just would like to see a little bit more projectiles from Zay before he goes in with a dash attack like that. Maybe like right there at that moment. Yes. Also, uh, dash attack, very good option to cover rolls as well. Yes. And very interesting. Pro oh, but the down air is going to be enough. That, actually, that hitbox actually stays out for so long. Yeah. You have, to, you have to know that if not, if you go up and try to punish, you're going to hit, get hit with that. Okay. So the dash attack from Link, actually a very interesting move. It actually makes him go up in the air a little bit. And for example, if you're Marth, you down tilt him. He'll actually go above the down tilt and hit you with the dash attack. So a little skip and a hit from Link there. Yes. Zay's, Zay's brought it back a little bit. Uh, it, it can come really fast just like that. We have ourselves a uh, pretty close game. And as you were saying, he used that projectile and then threw the dash attack, forcing Luigi to choose an option. In this case, he's okay. Just right there, he threw the bomb. Uh, Luigi went high, and he Zay with a great read went up, hit the up B, and got the KO. That was uh, risky, but I mean, if you you go with your reads, and it paid off for him there. Very, very job, very well job done. So sick. <laughs> very well, <laughs> very well job as well. Very, very well. Very much indeed. <laughs> so we're gonna be jumping <laughs> in. Much, much, ma much smash. Great, great, great attack. Much fascination. <laughs> much reads. <laughs> All right. So we'll be going to the second match. Let's see what map Girthquick decides to go to. Delfino, actually. That's a map he's been choosing quite a lot. Really. Let's see how it works out for him, though. I'd, I'd like to see Girthquake go a little bit closer than that and, and get those grabs. I mean, that's where Luigi's, you know, bread and butter game is, is the grab game. And 
Let's see right there. Let's see how much damage he puts on. Ooh, using that down B after that second Ooh. forward air. Very nice, good. Nice to rack up that damage. There's 40% 40, 40 right there. So uh, he needs to do a better job of just getting close. He's shielding a little too early. He needs to dash in more. Uh, possibly roll behind. There. Zay doing a great job, though, covering that option. He oh, does yeah. not want Luigi close to him. Ooh, that's forward smash. Very strong. Ooh, whoa, he's using the meteor bombs, apparently. Interesting. That's a weird angle. That, that that's, that's not supposed to happen normally. Caught so, me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he did the down smash to cover the roll. Good job, but he just barely missed. The, all Ooh. the damage he's put on right now has just all been from a grab or a straight fireball. Uh, so he needs, to, he needs to just get in. Ooh, and the up air coming out. That's going to seal the first stock. Can say very smartly just, you know, getting the zone he wants to be in instead of, you know, letting Link come in to him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Which is, doing... we've seen a lot of him just, you know, dash away, roll behind. Roll behind, jab. He's doing a lot of quick options. Uh, he really realizes this is an opportune time for him to take a 2-0. Uh, Ooh, Possibly again, get out of pools. very interesting how he left that bomb there and covering the roll option. Didn't get hit from that, but then got hit from the from the boomerang. So. Yeah, those ball, those bombs will just stay on the ground, and uh, they can be pretty intimidating if you have no experience against Link. <laughs> you don't know if they're going to explode after a few seconds or what. Interesting setup he was going for. The meteor from the bomb and then into a down A. Probably spike considering the the when he threw out the attack. I mean, he, he kind of a, can afford that at this position now that he has a stock lead and a percent lead, and, and Girthquake is at kill percent. Um, so he, he kind of can afford to throw out grabs like that if he wants. Surprise that kill. Okay, but good forward smash from Girthquake. Let's see if he can do something here. All right. He just needs to get a grab, maybe a, uh, a beat. Ooh. Oh, Dang. but the dash, dash attack, attack coming out. Very nice. Going to punish him for that fireball startup. Good match for Say. Yeah, very impressive. Two zero here. He's got a he's got a very uh, very good link. It's very solid. Oh yeah, not a lot of link players actually that you see around. We have two in our pool though. In you have pool. two. You have, have two. Jiggly. Yeah, Jiggly. Uh, and Zay. And Zay. Right. Oh yeah.